Today I want to talk about surviving a breakup and techniques that you need to utilize. There's nothing worse than a breakup. I don't care how long you dated, you believed in a relationship, you wanted it to work. Now it's ended for no reason, for a reason, but you feel down. You are just depressed. You can't get out of bed. You know, you want to drink, you want to eat, you don't want to go to work, you don't want to do anything because depression has set in. This is what I'm going to challenge you to do. They say that it takes 30 days to break a habit. So this is what I want you to do. Go to your store. Remember the three home notebooks that we used to get or the notebooks that we used to have in school? I want you to keep a journal. And every day, I want you to write in the journal and I want you to answer these questions. What did I enjoy doing before I met my significant other? What are the places that I like to do? Go. What have I stopped doing as a result of this breakup? Did I stop going to church or did I stop going skating? And then I want you to write down how many times your loved one has cheated on you. And I want you to do this daily. What were the circumstances? How you found out? Whether or not he was talking about you? How many times he used you or she used you? Uh, trying to get over. I want you to go in detail with yourself. How many times they let you down? How many times did they said they were going to come and get you and not show up? And every day I want you to write something in that journal. But I want you to start your day off this way. I want you to get up and I want you to force yourself to go outside and walk for 20 minutes. I don't care. I don't care if you're going to be, get up earlier than your job. you got to start moving that around. Have some breakfast. Um... You know, get going to work. And when it starts to set in, probably is in the afternoon, evening, get your journal out. Start answering those questions. Who you used to be. Who you are now. The things you once and really enjoy. And you don't do them now because of the breakup. The times he let you down. The times, you know, uh, you found out about the cheating. The lying. The stealing. Write those down. Write those things down. And every day when you want to start to think about, oh, I miss my boo, I want you to take a look at it. I want you to remind yourself. See, when we write it down, it becomes more permanent than if we just think it in our mind. I want you to write it down. I want you to look through your notes and write it down. And every day, I want you to answer those questions. Because it's en enough to probably fill up a whole book. And when you start to feel, oh, I miss him. Look at what he did. Look at what you allowed yourself to do. How you lost you. And I want you to start contemplating that. And toward the evening, I want you to walk 20 minutes again. No liquor. No pills. No overeating. No calling his family. No calling him. No going on his social media. No reaching out to his friends. They his people. And even if they know he did you wrong, they're not going to do anything about it. Leave them alone. They're not your friends. I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm just saying that there's a line in the sand. And they for him. They not for you. So get that out your mind. I don't care how nice they was or whatever. That's a wrap. That's over with. You can be cordial whenever you see them on the street. Hey, that's they people, okay? And they ain't got nothing for you, and they might feel for you, but they're not. They're going to de defend him. So let that go, okay? So get rid of that. Hope. Well, have you you seen him? Have you talked to him? Of course they're gonna see him. Of course they're gonna talk to him. He done gone on with somebody new. Let that go. Block him on your social media. You do not need to know nobody that's associated. All y'all mutual friends, block them. Get rid of that. But I want you to keep that journal. And every day you start to feel like, oh, I miss my boo. Look at what, look at that journal. I want you to look at, look at the number. Every day, I want you to put something in there. Nothing about the good times. I want you to talk, think about how he betrayed you, let you down, lied to you, stole from you talked about you. I want you to answer that. 
And I want you to go write down descriptions. On this day, Jody Blow was supposed to pick me up and didn't. And I want you to start to look at that. And every day I want you to write in that journal. And you know what? You're going to get mad at yourself. You're going to get mad at yourself for saying, you know what? Thank God I got out of this. I let him do this to me. I allow myself to accept that. And you're going to get mad. And when you get mad, you're not going to want to think about them. You're going to want to eat again. Those things you stop doing, going to church, do it. Going skating, do it. Traveling, do it. Do those things that you always love to do, but you stop doing because of him. And let me tell you what's going to happen. In 30 days, you're going to be able to sleep through the night. You're going to be able to say, wow, I'm getting me back. That journey takes a while. It's not going to stop like that. But in six months, girl, you're going to be back on and popping, ready to go. So I want you to think about these tips. And this is Vonda Evans with Keeping It Real.